everybody and welcome back to my channel for this Tuesday morning, afternoon or evening across the world where you may be at. And today this is a topic video of interest to me. This is something that I decided to talk about off my own back. As a lot of you know, my nana sadly passed away last week and I've been researching funeral companies to obviously get a bit of experience and knowledge about what happens during a funeral what they kind of do, how they prepare for a funeral and one thing that I noticed with all the different funeral companies that I'd researched here in the UK where I'm based was that there was no information on how to provide support for people with disabilities or mental health issues and that kind of slightly concerned me because as a lot of autistic and disabled people will be going to funerals, burials, cremations and as one who's been to many in her past and is about to go to another one that I thought by now that each company maybe may have had at least a paragraph or a page to support people with disabilities. I know it's not the funeral company's jobs to do that or even the funeral director or the place of burial or place of cremation's responsibility to do that but as many people with autism disability will get overwhelmed with having to go to a funeral, burial or cremation, I thought it may be interesting from my autistic perspective to talk on this issue. I think it's something that we could help funeral professionals out with and to better support them because a lot of people like me who get very overwhelmed with certain situations, certain people, I think going through my past experiences of going to funerals, it hasn't been great. It's been a lot of tears, there's been a lot of confusion, anxiety, panic because again it's that fact that you're having to say goodbye to somebody, you're having to go into a completely different venue, you're having to sit in a really high anxious state and kind of plan how to cope and how to support yourself and I think when you're going to a funeral or you're preparing to go to a funeral, burial or cremation, it can be really highly provo provocative and stressful knowing that you've got to go to a chapel of rest or to somewhere to visit your loved one before you prep for the funeral. It can be very, very stressful. And I think a lot of funeral companies there are kind of slipping up on themselves because they could be better supporting people with disabilities and autism and mental health issues to visit their loved ones and to kind of explain to them what's going to happen before the funeral, like getting them ready and then obviously explaining the process of going to the cremation site or burial ground or church or vicarage or any religious temple service that you're planning on having and obviously I don't want to make assumptions so but this is one thing I've noticed over the years that I've been to many many burials, cremations and I think that it would be good to have some form of support there. So when you go to a funeral company or you go to a chapel of rest or you go to a funeral director's and you say, look, I've lost a loved one and I'm not sure how I'm going to cope. I don't know what to expect. Maybe they could have someone that's there trained to talk through it with somebody because obviously there is a lot of emotions, there's a lot of heightened mental states, there's a lot of not knowing what's going to happen, it's the future of the unknown, it's having to adapt to a change and for many people like myself who are on the autistic spectrum it can be increasingly difficult to cope with change, it can be very difficult to accept that the person has gone, that they're not in pain, they're not suffering anymore but at the same point it would be nice to know that someone's there at the end of the phone or an email or at the place of question to say you know how are you coping, you know, and maybe just talk through the process, like offer just to be there to support them. And I know sometimes some places probably do do that, but I think in the UK there's not really much knowledge of it or for my existence there's hardly ever anyone there to support people with disabilities. And I think obviously disability is such a wide scope, is such a wide spectrum of needs, different conditions, mental conditions, physical differences, you know, intellectual disability, mental disability, neurodiverse disabilities, you know, we have to be very careful with the word disability in general, but I think as someone who's on the autistic spectrum and officially diagnosed as being autistic, that there should be some form of help available for people who are neurodiverse, 
divergent, non neurodivergent, like physically disabled, mentally disabled, intellectually disabled, visually disabled, auditory disabled. You know, there's a lot of disabilities to cover on that agenda. And I think that as someone who's been to many funerals in her life already, it's so hard to go from one emotion to the next without kind of any support or you know it can be very very overwhelming very very anxiety provoking and i think each time i've been to a few each emotion's got harder and heightened and i think that if there was a place to go or someone there to speak to just go hey you know i'm not coping i don't know what to expect maybe it would lessen the anxiety overwhelm the sensory overwhelm the depressive episodes to help them be calmer and realize that this is what happens on a standard burial cremation funeral you know and to make sure that they know exactly what's happening when it's happening why it has to happen and you know i think that's just one thing that we could consider to make things a little bit easier within the funeral burial cremation process but i know that it's all about you know making sure that they do the best thing that they can being there for the family of the loved one that's gone make sure the loved one gets taken care of that everything is above board and being looked after and you know i understand that they have a job to do i understand that they're on a certain time limit and budget and i get that that's fine but i think as someone on the autistic spectrum it'd be good to have somebody trained within the funeral process each funeral home or each cremation site each burial site has someone that is trained to speak with people with disabilities or mental health issues because again we are the most heightened ones we are the ones that are probably going to struggle with processing emotions information and this is just something my own experience that i've learned over the years going to funerals burials you know of cremations i wish there was someone there to talk through it with me i wish there was someone there to guide me prep me you know, I think this could especially be helpful with chapel rests, churches, any kind of religious institution that you may be visiting your loved one in. Um, you know, I hope that this video has been useful to somebody. And let me know your opinions down in the comment section. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.